but you have a Apple Watch Series 9 and you have an issue where you have a black screen. Even though you have a black screen, you know the watch is on. Maybe you can feel it vibrate. Maybe you're getting phone calls. Maybe you can hear notifications coming in and whatnot. The only thing is the screen is just blank or black. I'm going to give you guys several options to get you up and running right now. Take note that this one here is fixed, but we're going to pretend to have a black screen here. So first thing we want to do is we want to hold down two buttons here so we can restart it, okay? So pretend I have a black screen here. What we want to do first is hold down the digital crown and the side slash power button. Press and hold both buttons. Don't let go until we see an Apple logo appear, then let go. Again, let's pretend my screen here is black, digital crown, power slash side button. Ready, set, go. Press and hold both buttons. Pretend my screen here is black. Just keep on holding those two buttons until we see an Apple logo appear. Still holding here. The watch just turned off. I'm still holding on both buttons, waiting it for, the, to, for it to boot back up. Where's that Apple logo? There it is. Go ahead and let go and let it boot up normally and hopefully you'll be out of the black screen. If not, we're going to go to step number two. Okay, you still have a black screen, no problem. Next thing we're going to do is this. Go ahead and grab your watch. What I want you to do is spam the, digit, the, the crown as well as the power slash side button here, here. Okay, so just press these in and out a few times, in and out like this. Because it's possible that one of the buttons could be jammed, stuck. You might get coffee in it or soda, could get sticky in there and it can cause a black screen as well. Okay, so we spam it a few times, put it down, grab your charger, pop it on there, wait about 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, while it is on the charger, we're going to restart it again using the two key combination. Okay, so it's charging now, digital crown, side button, ready, set, go. Press and hold both buttons here. Keep on holding, but then my phone here is black, or my uh, watch here is black. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just holding onto these two buttons, waiting for an Apple logo to appear. Still holding. Where's that Apple logo? There it is. Let go of both buttons. Let it boot up normally, and hopefully you are out of the black screen. If you're still stuck in a black screen, no problem. We're going to go to the next step. Okay, so you still have a black screen, no problem. Next step we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull it off the charger. And now we're going to do two things. We're going to do one called the, what I call the tapping method, and the other is the pressing method, okay? So grab your watch like this, and all you want to do is just grab two fingers and tap kind of hard all over on the screen like this. Same thing on the back, okay? Got to go kind of hard. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to press on the screen as well, okay? You can use a cloth or something if you don't want to smudge up the screen, but basically hold it like this, and I want you to squeeze in, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Same thing on the back here, okay? Squeeze, squeeze, all the edges, everything, squeeze, squeeze. Now, turn it over. Tap on one of the buttons and see if your screen is on. If it's still off from here, no problem. Restart it again using the two key combination. Remember, digital crown, side slash power button. Press and hold both buttons. Don't let go until you see a Samsung or a, um, an Apple logo appear. Once it appears, let go of both buttons, okay? Okay, we still have a black screen, no problem. So for this next step here, we're gonna grab our phone and then what you wanna do is you wanna go to your Apple Watch app Hopefully it's connected. Go to your Apple Watch app. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to change the clock face, okay? So go down here in the face gallery, tap on the face gallery, and choose something different, okay? So let me go down here, and I'll just choose this one here. I'll tap on that. I'll tap on Add. Now I'm going to tap on My Watch. And that last one under My Faces is right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and tap on that right there use as current watch face right there and then give it a second and voila now hopefully your screen is on okay if the screen turned on you can go ahead and go back to your original clock face if it's still a black screen or you, it didn't do anything we're going to go to the next step so for this next step what i want you to do is grab your watch just like this go to your freezer Put it into your freezer where it's nice and cold. Leave it there for 15 to 20 minutes. 
after 15, 20 minutes, grab your nice cold Apple Watch, tap on one of the buttons, and see if the screen is on. If it's still off, no problem. While it's nice and cold, press and hold both buttons again. Continue to hold until you see the Apple logo. Once the Apple logo appears, let go of both buttons and hopefully you now have a working screen. Now here's the thing. If you guys tried all of these steps and you still have a screen, a black screen, then what I would suggest is try every single step again a second time. Doesn't work, try it three times. Doesn't work, try it at least seven times. Okay, if you tried every step at least seven times, I'm gonna say at least 75% of you guys should now have a working screen. So if this worked for you, give me a thumbs up. Comment below which um, method or combination of methods you think worked for you so others can see. If it didn't work, give me a thumbs down. Again, we should see at least a 75% thumbs up. All right, good luck guys.